Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place Weekend in 3. Today, we need to get out of this room, but it won't let me for some reason. There we go. Uh, we need to go meet up with Percy at the left entrance. Why? Because, well, story reasons. But, you know, we're having kind of a rough time. We're overworked. We're exhausted. We just sort of need a break, yeah? So what better way to do that than you just not hang out with Percy? Just hang out with Percy, I guess, right? Milady, are you sure you're okay? Yes, quite. I think I needed this. All I needed was rest, but I can't stay in bed forever. You could. You look much better. How about a ride to Iske Village? Iske? Yeah, it's the time for the Harvest Festival. I've never heard of Iske. Relax for a change. Yeah, let's relax for a change. Right. It would be nice to relax for a change. Absolutely. But Boris says I have to keep myself from getting too carried away. He's one to talk. Always a good plan. I'll fetch your horse then. Alright, so yeah, you can stay like that for now. We should be fine. The enemies on uh, Yaza Plain aren't too, too bad uh, right now. With two people, they... I mean... We're on level, but they shouldn't be any different when we went to the uh, Budahat Castle earlier. So we should be fine. And we're higher level and better equipped than we were. So it's it should be fine. I think this is the first time we can go to Iske Village outside of Thomas. Thomas just gets access to it because, well, he lives right next door to it, yeah. Uh, and I think this is the first one... Hmm, you know, honestly, I don't think... I don't remember if we can actually go to Iske as Jado or Hugo until much, much later. Yeah, hmm, maybe. I don't know. I think if if we can go to Iske, it's definitely like a late chapter three type deal, I think. We should have stopped at the skill teacher, but we should be fine. Well, Kronos, are you going to go to Budahak and go to the skill trainer? Maybe. <laughs> it's, it's, mm, yeah, it's kind of smart to do that. Like, Percy probably could use a couple more levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's uh go ahead and get a painting. Oh, whoop de doo uh, Let's go to Budha Castle and then uh, train up my skills. I'll show you that when I'm done. Alright, so I'm done doing all of that. Let me show you my stats. Uh, so I level up Swing and Damage for Chris. Uh, swing's maxed out on her. It's kind of a low level, but it's fine. For Percy, I leveled up his Water Magic to B+. So he's good there now. He's now pretty much set to be an off healer and occasional damage dealer with Breath of Ice. I also leveled up his Swing and his Accuracy. Uh, so he's good there. A little bit more lively than the last time we were here with Thomas. Then again, when we were here with Thomas, we were recruiting a ninja behind a village. And a, a psychopathic girl with a puppet on her hand. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, Percy. I just went by your text. You know a lot about it, the Harvest Festival. How so? Uh, I should. I was born here. Is that so? I never knew that. Uh, not much to tell, really. My, my, is it a little Percy from Main Street? I mistook you for some VIP. Hi, how have you been, Mum? How have I been, Percy, my baby? Oh, you look so regal. 
Oh, who's the lady? Is she your... Oh my, she looks familiar. Um... Hey, don't mind the personal space, but I have to make a round and say hello to everyone. You should try some sightseeing. There are fields beyond the hill over there, and a breeze is very pleasant this time of year. But do be careful. If they find out who you are, they'll, you'll be mobbed. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Percy. Ugh, certainly, my lady. <laughs> okay, so I've been calling him Percy for, like, the entire game, but yeah. It's not exactly a nickname he is thrilled about, but... I don't know, I think it's alright. Put in the same Percival all the time. Uh, alright, come over here, and then we waste money appraising this painting that we got. Oh, we got two paintings, excuse me. Cronus, you're rich, you don't need to worry about wasting money. How do you think you stay rich, not wasting money, with graffiti? You don't buy graffiti just because it's on the chain block. I didn't know nothing about that shit, by the way. I'm just fucking with you. At the same time, don't waste your money. Did I get the peel rune from you? Wait, what? Okay, I'm tired of this. What in the hell is the charisma of gentlemen anyways? Have you seen it? Has anyone? Give it to me now! I must have it! Alright, well, she's gonna go places when she's older. Uh, so... Oh, we got some damaged helmets. Uh, we don't need... We don't need that. We'll keep the evasion ring. I actually probably should have thrown that in the, uh... We don't need that either. Uh, I pr probably should have thrown that in the storage. Oh well. Alright, so we need to go all the way back. You can even make the rounds, talk to some people. You know, people talking about the war that's going on between Zexlin and, you know, Grassland and Lizard Clan. It's kind of actually odd, right? Because. Not odd, but. If you think about it, Budaha Castle is considered Grassland and Zexenland, right? But it's considered out in the Zexenland area. This is Bart's, I believe. He needs, like, grape seeds or grape sea items. Uh, but we can't recruit him just yet. And I'm not going to recruit him until uh, I get to Thomas's Chapter 2. He opens a farm that we use seeds for in uh, Budaha Castle. It's pretty neat. Ah, uh, wheat. Oh, Jesus, how long have we been standing here? I am so bored. I've been standing here for like three hours. I don't want waffles. Looking at those uh, windmills. <laughs> Can't feel about too much overt admiration for the view. You might make the sun blush. Who's there? Hang on there, Missy. I just I'm just someone sharing a scenic moment here. Mind me asking mind my asking what was going on through your going through your head just then? I'm just curious, sort. No harm meant. I'm under no obligation to tell you. Uh, of course not, but you can choose to tell me. Uh well, you're a big talker. You're a big talker. Really, huh? I never thought myself to be. My missus always says so, too, so it must be true. Missus? Uh, yeah, I'm 37, you know, even though I look younger. Yeah, my word. I'm not trying to flirt with you. Alright, so... Nash here. You may or may not recognize him. Um, he wasn't in Suikoden 1 and 2 originally. 
He was the protagonist of the Suikoden Gaiden games, where he gets involved in Suikoden 2 stuff, and some stuff after Suikoden 2. Um, they never really say who his missus is, but it's heavily hinted at that it is... Well, do I want to spoil those two games? You know, I won't. I won't. I haven't fully played them all. I read the synopsis of it because they never had an English translation, official English translation. There are fan translations of it. Uh, but Nash was the protagonist of the Gaiden games, and he makes an appearance here. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I won't spoil anything for those, but just... Yeah, he was the protagonist for that. Flirt with me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what's funny? Just the fact that an, only an idiot would flirt with the captain of the Zex and Knights. But you're no idiot. Tell me what you want. Uh, to be honest, I had no idea who you were. I've been commissioned to investigate the conflict between the Grasslands and uh, Zexen. There are some rumors around, you know. And there's no smoke without fire. What investigation? Why would you think to contact me here in this village? Yeah, it was sheer luck. I heard the village festival, so I had a festival, so I came. Then when I saw the Zexen Knights walking in front of me, I decided to take a chance. How do you know it was me? Uh, well, I mean, I think you're like the only woman that walks around at the very least without her helmet on. And we haven't really met any other female soldiers in the Zexen knighthood, so yeah. Also because I heard the new captain of the Zexen knights was beautiful. You're small talking again, but you should refrain from such talk. It'd make my own men blush, except maybe for Percival. Uh, Lady Cliss? Cri Cliss? No, Chris, I have a favor to ask you. What was that? I had not expected they would get here so soon. You remember that old saying, an eye for an eye? This is one of the few 3D-ish pre-rendered cutscenes in the game, huh? I'm going back to the village. I'll go with you. There's more we should talk about, and I also know how to handle a sword, yet I don't use one! I don't use one at all, Nash! Uh, what happened to those swords you had? Oh, they were dangerous. You know, yeah, we could really use them right now, though. Alright, so he has water magic. He's fairly good all around. Uh, he comes with, like, a throwing knife. He does not use swords. Uh, he's a liar, liar, pants on fire. His armor kind of sucks, but it will have to do dancing flames. Okay, that probably won't work too well. Um, Alright, so yeah, we need to make our way to the village. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, we need to make our way back to the village. Because, uh, the Grasslanders are attacking, attacking Iske. The mindset is they destroyed one of their villages. Guess they gotta destroy one of the Zexans' villages, right? So, let's try to, uh, minimize the stuff. Though, I believe... <sighs> yeah, well... Uh, I, I won't mention anything just yet. Because there are, there are some things we can go over later on in the game with that, if I remember to, anyways. What's all this? Here they come. Alright, so these fights can be kind of hard. Don't use Breath of Ice to, uh... To attack, because, uh... You... Ye, ye, dancing Flame might have worked. It's just, uh... It takes too long for Nash to, uh get it off, and they will attack him and kill him. If Chris gets low, you pretty much want to just uh, heal her with kindness drops. Nash, you killed that one? Was that a crit? 
That must have been a crit. Or did I weaken that one somehow? Mega murder damage down rich. It's money. Tim, we're outnumbered. Milady. Glad you're here, Percy. Or Percival. Good to see you too, my lady. Alright, so, um. Do I want to keep you two together? Well, I don't want to put it with Nash in case I need to heal with him. Mm, yeah, I guess I'll just put you down here. Why not? Here they come again! You probably would be able to get off a Breath of Ice with Percy before anyone else acted, so you know what, let's do that. It won't kill them, his magic's not that high, but it should do decent amounts of damage. It might even kill the Korean soldiers, because I believe they have lower defense, or not, never mind. They have higher defense. <laughs> Alright, that was... Actually, you know what? Attack you, heal Chris. Get 86 damage back, health back. It's a good way to weaken them all around, right? More damage helmets that I can sell. That was tough. It's been ages since I have fought in real combat. I had the villagers flee to the hills uh, for the time being. We've, we'll, we'll delay them as long as we can, then retreat ourselves. Got it! Alright, well, let's just retreat then? Hi, how's it going? Oh, we can save. Well, you know, that's not a bad idea. Alright, how's it going? Stand up. Uh, your mother get hit. Yeah. It's, a. Uh, yeah, this is not good. Sometimes, <laughs> it's one of those games where you play each side and you're just like, oh man, we kind of wish we could stop seeing all this horrible shit sometimes. Uh, Hark, take a look at this. The Iron Head boss has come to greet us. The Holy Spirit is with us today. Uh, I'm ready to take you on. If you, want, if you think you can defeat me, you're sorely mistaken. Our swords are unrivaled by those of any lizard barbarian. That's not true, but okay. Okay, we do want to use... Uh, let's see, how fast will Dancing Flames be? That's not flat, fast at all. And Breath of Ice from you, yeah, not fast at all. So you do that. Percy, you should be able to get it off much quicker. Yeah. Aim for Shiva. Not Shiva, Shiba. At least weaken everyone a little bit. Won't kill them, but it will weaken them. That way, hopefully, yeah, we'll get two down. That's two less damage. We avoided that. That's fantastic. We should live another one. Go. I was kind of hoping we go up. I should have just manually inputted it. Okay, let's go ahead and you attack that. You heal Chris because she's tanking all the damage. You go after that one. Percy has a higher physical attack right now. That's why I'm having him attack. Oof, that's not great. Auto. Okay, hey, that's not too bad. That fight can be a little difficult sometimes. <sighs> You're a tough bunch, I admit. Or I must admit. You demonstrated the strength of the lizard can't fight a unit. Bye!
Luckily, many were able to escape. The Lizard Clans were so busy ransacking the village, they didn't even bother looking elsewhere. Let's get to the windmill. I mean, that's kind of a good thing, right? That they were too busy to kill innocent people for the most part. They still, it still happened, right? But still. Eh. It's like one chapter we haven't played as a person that's ransacked the village, right? Pretty much. Uh, whew. We could rest for a bit. Well, t technically, we haven't. Yeah, okay. Technically, Hugo is not really involved in this. So, I guess we don't play from his perspective with ransacking another village, right? Uh, we'll get to that, though, in his chapter, right? Uh, phew. Can we rest for a bit? I'm out of breath. I'm not used to all this exertion, you know? My lady, I've been wondering, who is this ruffian? Huh, I'm... No time for introductions. Damn. How surprising to run into you, white maiden. I almost didn't believe my men were when they were reported you were here. How fortunate. I'm Chris, neither a Zexan hero nor a white maiden. Thank you. I'm just one of the knights protecting Zexan. Chris. Are you the real Chris Lightfellow? How do you know my name? You look like a crane fire, then you can't be... <laughs> I know the name White Lightfellow. Then you can tell me about the armor in your village and the pinnacle that a Korean boy brought to my house. The boy was following my instructions. It was a promise I made. A promise? Are you saying you killed my father? Uh, what if I did? Are you going to avenge his death? If you did, then yes. I'm willing to do so right now. Suit yourself. I'll handle this. If you don't mind, Dupa. As you wish. Alright, so we're dueling Jimba. Uh, you can lose this, and it'll be fine, right? You don't like, you don't get a game over. I hope this isn't too much for you. That is a desperate attack. Or a special attack, a death blow attack, whatever the hell they're called. They change them in every game, alright? Commence defense. I didn't heal. Oh well, not that it's needed. Uh, strong enough. Uh, let's see how you handle this. Is that another? No, that's a normal attack. Yeah, so I'm gonna death blow you. Death blow will bring you down. It's not. It's not the song, Kronos. I know. It's headstrong. I'll bring you on. Or I'll take you on. Yeah. 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 That song's old now. <laughs> Enough. You win. Congratulations, Captain. You deserve to leave the Zexan Knights. <laughs> Your father would be proud. Quiet. Have you tried to humiliate me? He's fucking with her. If it's not clear. <laughs> Have you tried to humiliate me enough? If you want to find out about your father, you must find the Flame Champion. Stay back! Damn, I thought I could catch her off guard. She was too much for me, Dupa. We can't leave things like this. Chief Dupa! What is it, and why are you talking like that? The Zexan Knights have... What? Loses like, why am I here? I'm ten! Uh, they look small in number, but they may have reinforcements. Retreat! Retreat, everyone! Woman, you have the devil's luck. Bad spirits seem to fight at your side. Ah, damn, so be it. I expect to see you again, white maiden. In order to have met you, madam. Hold it!
Milady, are you all right? I managed the five, thanks. Percival, how on earth did you take her? Why on earth did you take her to such an indecent place? It was my fucking home. Fuck you, Bo uh, Boris. I don't apologize to him. Boris, this is not an indecent place. Call it what you will, I care not, but who was that man, milady? That man, the one you probably thought fancied me. Uh, f f fancied. What does she mean, Percival? I don't know. The hell's your guys' problem? She's an adult. Alright. Um. Boris, get out of my party. You know, Percival, you can come in. Alright, so there's not really much else we can do here. Uh, you can talk to some people. Iske will now, from this point in the timeline, be burnt going forward. So, you won't be able to see this as Thomas in Chapter 1. In Chapter 2, it will be burnt to the ground for the moment. Well, not burnt to the ground, but things are a little different here. Uh, there is someone we can recruit if we had grape C items, but we don't have any right now, so I'm not going to do that. We could check out the the smith, actually, couldn't we? Hi, do you actually upgrade my armor or weapons? No, it's just a nine. Okay. Fair enough. All right, so we have almost the full party, and we're all fully healed, right? That's good to know. Um, okay, so yeah, that's a thing I should probably do, huh? Yeah, stop off at Budahuk and level up some skills for those guys. But now that we have an almost full party, uh, we can do a dumpster dive. Not a dumpster dive, Kronos, a dungeon dive. What the fuck is wrong with your brain? I actually have no idea. This is dreadful. It seems someone is out to avenge our bout with the Lizard Clan. Or, you know, the village you guys burnt down. And all those innocent civilians you killed. Like I said, eye for an eye, right? And there'll be no end to the vengeance. They intend to keep us busy, I suppose. Let's get back to the castle. There's no telling what the council has in mind. That was not Boris. I'm, I'm sorry, Percival. Honestly, this place... At least it still exists, for the most part compared to, like, the Korea village. But, yeah, if you, like I said, if you go back here, it is literally just, there's nothing there. You just see an overview of a destroyed area. You can't go into it. But, eh, it doesn't seem like that many people died there, so that's kind of good. But, yeah, I mean, it, this is actually kind of like a brutal war perspective, right? Or at least in terms of video games. You don't normally see <laughs> or take part in some allies just doing stuff like this, right? You don't control people that go and burn down village and kill innocent people. Even if it's, you know, we order them not to do that, obviously. It happened, but, it, you know, we order them not to do it. But, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things is just like, oh, it's kind of... Kind of makes me feel weird about some of these characters. Or actually has a hard time for me actually liking some of these characters, I should say. Uh, cause yeah. Like, we saw Boris and the others just slaughtering people earlier, which is not cool. Then we get the Lizard Clan and these guys coming here and attacking this gay village and killing it's the some civilians, not as many, but still some civilians. It's not cool at all. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, I get people dying on like a battlefield and stuff like that, but man, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't, I'm not too forgiving when you kill like an innocent person, like someone that doesn't is not a fighter, right? Unless you're playing like an evil route game, then sure, whatever. You're doing, you're doing an evil route, whatever, but. Yeah. If you kill, like, an unarmed, untrained civilian, then I don't fucking give a shit what your reasoning is. That's your scumbag, whatever side you're on. Um, but yeah, anyways. We're fully ready to go to Mount Hi-Ho, and I'm gonna fight that giant blue crab again, because why not? 
We also could go to the Northern Caverns, and I might do that in between episodes to get the treasure. Ah, ahaha, ah, you're right. Good call. What are you talking about, Kronos? You gotta buy escape scrolls. I know, right? That would have been a long haul back if I uh, didn't do that. Why don't you have escape scrolls? I'm like, seriously, why don't they have escape scrolls? Isn't that... Uh, what? I don't want to walk back. Well, you could use the exercise, Kronos. Shut up! I know, but like... I'll meet you guys at the, the boss here, the blue dude that we fought earlier as Jado. Yeah, alright, I didn't find any escape scrolls. Which is bullcrap. It's like one of the most common items you can sell in the store, and yet we don't have them? Anyways. It's this guy again. We've fought him plenty of times. Well, okay, we fought him once before, but... You know, this guy here never changes. He's always the boss here. So the treasure chest here isn't actually that great overall in comparison to some places. Like the Northern Cavern and some other, and the Mountain Path and some other places later that have done like treasure bosses, they'll a change as the story progresses. This guy's just always here. Ow. Go ahead and just attack. You really, he's strong against water, so just using a water rune on him would be useless. So, yeah, and this party doesn't really have any mages, but the, the crab has lasers. I wish my crabs had lasers. <sighs> Kronos. This is a horrible, disgusting joke. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have crabs. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> uh, that would be fucking weird, having crabs with lasers, though. And awesome. And train them as an army. We, got, we went to a weird place at the end of this episode, didn't we, Kronos? Yeah, yeah, I guess we did. Did you just poison all the- No, no, okay. He should almost be dead. He's dead! One level for Percy and Boris. Let's see what we get. A bunch of money, I'm assuming. Ninety-two thousand dollars. We got the killer. We got. Oh my god. We got primary armor. Oh, that's. That's good. Chaos shield. Really. I mean, metal set three. Okay. Uh, this is all really good. Being said, though, I don't know if we're going to be able to use that Premier Armor. Uh, too much going forward. Though, yeah, I think in the next part we're not going to be able to use it for Chris. It does lower her propel, or not propel, her repel, but her defense is now really, really good. Um, her repel will still be fairly decent due to her repel skill when it levels up. Uh, I'm going to go deposit the killer rune in Budok's story, uh, storage, not story, storage, and uh, sell some of that useless armor that we're not going to be able to use. We'll see if it actually fits with anyone else right now. Probably not, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to Budahuk. I might go to the Northern Cavern uh, in between episodes to kill the Chimera again and open that chest. But without any escape trolls, I probably won't. We'll probably just go back to Brass Castle after that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you all next episode. Have a good day. Bye.